Hello, my name is Shane Johnson. Um, my background from an educational perspective uh, is an I have an undergraduate degree in neuroscience and went through medical school at Stanford. Uh, ended up never practicing medicine, got pulled into an early stage biotech company and then another one, and ultimately found a home in strategy consulting, mostly focused on the biotechnology sector. Uh, my interest in cannabinoid science is more recent. Um, in 2014, I think it was, uh, I credit cannabis with saving the life of my neighbor's eldest son. And that got me quite intrigued that despite my educational background, I had absolutely no understanding as to how that might have been possible, uh, which got me looking at research coming out of places like the, the Netherlands and Israel uh, and other countries around the globe where, where research was starting to be done uh, back in the in, in the you know early 2000s, uh, et cetera. Um, ultimately, I ended up uh, starting a cannabis cultivation and manufacturing company with this young man's father. Uh, that, in turn, led me to realize that there were challenges working with the plant, challenges that could be solved by biotechnology. And um, one of my co-founders for Bay Medica, uh, Chuck Marlowe, uh, introduced me to Phil Barr as well. And the three of us decided we should uh, start a company together, really leveraging the best of biotech, specifically uh, yeast engineering and uh, synthetic chemistry to make some of these rare cannabinoids that are harder to extract and isolate out of the plant to be able to better explore the full range of therapeutic potential or health and wellness applications for these compounds. Um, ultimately, that's what we've been uh, on the journey of doing for the last several years. And, uh, you, you know, in terms of the merger with InMed, we're extremely excited by the synergies with the programs that we had developed coupled with some of InMed's uh, core manufacturing technologies, as well as uh, clinical development programs where they're going beyond just the making of these compounds and actually uh, developing uh, some, some compounds, rare compounds for uh, therapeutic potential and ultimately, hopefully, FDA approval. Um, so uh, with that, I will uh, sign off and thank you very much.